Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my memory spread for the week of December 12th through the 18th. For this week, I'm going to be using Merry Mistletoe from Caress Press, which I am just obsessed with. This art set came out in a couple different colorways, but something about the more traditional one just really did something to me, like I had to have it, and I'm really excited to see this spread laid down. So as always, this is a glossy kit in Crest Press's full kit format. So that is the kit. And of course, we have some extras. So we have the freebie that came with the kit. I could not resist this stunning tall box. And then of course, we have our 15 millimeter washi. And for foil this week, I'm going to be pairing it with a foil bundle also from Caress Press. This is the Jingle Bells foil bundle in gold, which I think is going to match quite nicely with the spread. I was stuck between gold and red and ultimately I went with gold. I don't know. I just feel like it's going to pop against this kit. So I'm really excited to see this all put together. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put down the base of the spread and I'll be right back. Okay, so before we get into talking about this week, I do have some housekeeping things to go over with you guys. So firstly, I have been very proud of myself for keeping up with the three videos a week uploading schedule for the past couple of weeks, and I was hoping to at least continue that through till the end of December, but I don't think that's going to be possible anymore. There's been a little bit of a change in plans as far as me moving out of my apartment. So originally, I was hoping to be out of my apartment on my birthday, which is Wednesday of this week, the 21st. I was hoping that both my parents could come in their vehicles and we can just move everything out and then I could just be done and be home for the holidays and not have to think about it. And that's not going to happen. So my dad is officially off of work until after New Year's, but my mother is still working this entire week. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to delay moving me out until after Christmas, which is unfortunate. So, I'll be going home for Christmas, but I'm going to have to come back up to my apartment after Christmas to move out. Only because if it was just me and my dad between our two vehicles, we would either have to make two trips up to my apartment to move me out, or he would have to rent like a U-Haul or something to pull or tow behind his truck. So my mom has a minivan and I really need her minivan to help us <laughs> so we don't have to make multiple trips or spend money on a U-Haul. So gonna have to wait until after Christmas. So that being said, I'm not going to have like my desk or probably my filming equipment. We shall see for the next week or so. So yeah, I'm planning on taking my planning stuff with me because I'll have them in boxes and stuff. And I plan on, I'm planning on taking a load with me when I go home on, I think I'm going to go home on Tuesday the 20th. And yeah, so I don't know. We're going to be like the uploading schedule is going to be interesting for the next couple of weeks until I can get out of my apartment and have my desk in my old room. So we shall see how that goes. Hopefully my uploading schedule will not be too off, but we'll see. I know for sure there's not going to be a plan with me next Monday just because I won't have my stuff to film my plan with me. So yeah, but other than that, hopefully we'll have something figured out. I don't know, but I just wanted to point that out because I've been really proud of myself again with my uploading schedule. So hopefully come January, we can get back to our regularly scheduled program. There are, there is going to be some changes as far as my uploading schedule come January, probably just because I know once I start working, I'm not going to be able to upload plan with me is on Monday for like the week prior because like that's a lot <laughs> it's it takes a lot of time for me to like wrap up my day on Sunday and then pull stickers film do voiceovers and have a video up on Monday so I'm thinking my memory plan with me's are probably going to start going up on Fridays come the new year and then we'll have like some other videos on Monday that I can film like ahead of time type of situation but we'll see but anyways, other than that, let's see. 
This week I continued with my Fear the Walking Dead rewatch, or I guess technically I'm at the point where I haven't. I stopped watching Fear the Walking Dead like after season three, so everything I'm watching right now is new to me. So I'm continuing with that. I did get a book in this week, so I read Twisted Love by Anna Huang, and I started Tis the Season for Revenge, but I have not finished that yet. I should finish it today, Monday, but... Yeah, I tried to finish it last night and I fell asleep while reading it, so that didn't work out. But Twisted Love, I gave 3 out of 5 stars. I was expecting to love it a lot more than I did, especially because it's like my favorite trope. Like, I love a brother's best friend romance. I don't know why. That was like my favorite thing ever in a romance novel. But I only gave it 3 out of 5 stars. I felt like it was a little exaggerated at times and not very realistic. And the dirty talk was just like cringe just I, I couldn't I that's I love a good smutty romance but sometimes the dirty talk that's in it is just too much for me I can't do it so I ended up giving it three stars I loved Ava the main character and then I hated the male main character Alex so it was just like it was an average read for me I will it's a it's the first book in a four book series so I probably will continue with the series as it follows the other friends in Ava's group so we'll see but I was expecting to like it more I was super hyped up on TikTok and book talk and all that fun stuff so yeah I still recommend it if you guys are into a smutty romance but the first one was a little much I heard that the second book Twisted Games I believe it's what it's called is like the best book in the series so hopefully I'll get to that soon I kind of took a break from like my regularly scheduled reading stuff like my romance and my mystery thrillers to focus on like holiday reads leading up to Christmas so that's why I started just the season for revenge hopefully I'll finish that tonight and then I can start on my next holiday read but yeah so far I really really love that book and it's like the fifth book in a series but it reads like a standalone and I honestly did not realize it was the fifth book in a series until like I was like halfway through so it's fine. We're loving that book. So anyways, let's get on to talking about this week because we're at the day-to-day -day part. So Monday was the day that I packed up a load of stuff to take to my parents' house. So I woke up super early and loaded up my vehicle with some boxes and stuff. And I also packed up Figaro because he has been... I want to say in the last couple of weeks, he's been waking me up between 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning, and I was over it. So because I was going to be going home to drop off boxes, I just decided to drop off Figaro while I was at it. So Figaro has spent the last week hanging out with his grandparents, living his best life. As far as my parents are telling me, he's doing really good. He, he loves being at my parents' house because he has Wednesday to play with, my parents' cat, so... Yeah, he probably doesn't even notice that I'm gone whenever I leave him, so I'll see him on Wednesday or Tuesday. I think I said I was going home on the 20th, the day before my birthday. Um, so yeah, it's just whenever he's, like the first night I drop him off, he usually cries a little bit at night, according to my parents, and then he's fine the rest of the time, and then I show up. And he's super clinging to me like the first day after he's reunited with me. So that's going to be super fun. But yeah, I just, I needed a break from Fig. So me and Winnie have been spending some quality time together this week. And it has been lovely being able to sleep in. So yeah, I marked that down, uploaded a video. I went to Walmart to get like packing supplies, bubble wrap, tape, paper, all that fun stuff. And then I got Panda Express on my way home. And then I had a YouTube binge, so that was fun. On Tuesday, the first thing I marked down was that just one night without Figaro, the first night without him, I got nine hours of sleep, you guys. Nine hours of sleep. Do you want to know the last time I got nine hours of sleep in one go? Probably before I even got Figaro, <laughs> and Figaro is almost two years old. So, yeah, it was lovely. It was just so refreshing to get a full night's sleep that never happens anymore so I was very very happy the only reason I probably would have gotten more sleep except we had like a massive thunderstorm roll into like north Texas so that woke me up if it wasn't for the thunderstorm I probably could have slept another couple hours if I'm being honest but 
yeah after the thunderstorm rolled in i marked down that i had a filming day and then i had a massive headache so because of that i took some ibuprofen and then i just relaxed a little bit after that and then i started twisted love once my headache subsided so that was super fun and I don't think I mentioned um, the scripts that I use in this video are always from Carly Plans she's like the only place I get my scripts now a lot of the doodles are from Carly I have character stickers from Once More With Love and SPC and all that fun stuff and if you guys want to save money at SPC you can use code ALISA10 I think I also pulled in some stuff from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I think that's about it. I pretty it was pretty minimal as far as like shops that I use this week. But I feel like I always forget to mention the shops I use, so I just wanted to point that out. But anyways, moving on to Wednesday. I started off my morning by going to the post office to drop some things off. And then I marked down that I uploaded another video. And then using that once more with love munchkin, I marked down Twitch's passing, which I don't know why Twitch's passing like affected me so much. I just, I loved him and his family and I loved watching their dancing videos on TikTok and stuff. So I, it like really hit me hard when I found out he passed. So I had to mark that down in my planner. I normally don't mark down like celebrity deaths in my planner, but that one just like really, it really sucks. So I had to mark that down. So um, after that, I marked down that I shopped SPC's new releases. And then I binge watched some TV, read my book, and then I marked down that I went to bed early this night. Moving on to Thursday, I marked down that I woke up super sleepy. I had a really hard time falling asleep this night. I was like hot while I was trying to fall asleep, but I knew if I like turned down the heat, I was going to be super cold at night because we had a cold front come in. So I just like suffered and just tossed and turned a little bit until I fell asleep. And then I also marked down that I edited a couple of videos this morning. I had to go to Walmart again to do some grocery shopping. And then I marked down that I went to Sonic because they had their 99 cent mozzarella stick day. So I did that and I got those. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also got a pretzel because I can't go to Sonic without getting a soft pretzel. Like that's my... It's my favorite thing ever. So I did that. And then I watched a movie this evening. I cannot remember what I watched, but I watched something because I marked it down in my planner. And then I finished Twisted Love This Day. So that is it for Thursday. Now, Friday, I marked down that I uploaded another video, and then I laid down the base to this spread, and then I did some organizing and some de-stashing of my sticker collection. I'm trying to offload as much as I possibly can to make the movie room process, like, as easy as possible, and not just, like, stickers and stuff, like, anything I find that I can sell or get rid of or throw out. I'm doing it because I want like the least amount of stuff possible because I want a quick and easy moving day because it's just going to be me and my dad and my mom when I move out. I want, when I moved in, I had my sister and her boyfriend at the time. So it took me like an hour to move in and that's not going to be the case to move out. So I'm trying to have as few things to move as possible. So yeah, that's going to be fun. And technically, it's really only, like, me and my dad. My mom is coming just to loan her vehicle, but my mom has, like, really bad arthritis and stuff, so she can't really help move boxes and stuff. So it's really just going to be me and my dad because I know my sister, even if she is in town, when I decide to actually move out, she's not going to help because that's just who she is. But anyways, um, yeah, I organized stickers and did some de -stashing. Then I continued to binge watch Fear the Walking Dead. And then I started Tis the Season for Revenge this night, and then I marked down that I was up later than I wanted to be because I could not put down the book. I'm actually surprised I haven't finished it yet. Like, I stayed up super late reading it on Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday I, like, fell asleep while reading. So, yeah, I didn't get very much in on Saturday and Sunday, so I'm hoping to have that done tonight. But anyways, moving on to now Saturday. First thing I marked down was that I slept in. I woke up with a raging tummy ache, so that was super fun. I had super bad cramps, so I stayed in bed a little longer than I anticipated and did a little bit of reading while I was stuck in bed. 
And then I marked down that I got to Whataburger for lunch this day. And then I did a bunch of cleaning and packing throughout the rest of the evening on Saturday. So that was super fun. Moving on to now Sunday, I woke up early. I did a lot of vacuuming because I had... I made a mess of my floor as well as packing and cleaning and then continue packing on Sunday and then I did you know the drill pulled stickers filmed I did some more reading and then I did the voiceover for the spread and that is pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed as always I'll have all these shops featured linked in the description box down below as well as any coupon codes or referral links I have for them please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye